Flash, obviously, over this bank holiday weekend is the Nadine Doris resignation letter. <laughs> and I don't want to use the word shock resignation letter because she told us when in June Two that she ago. was actually... Yeah. You know, going to not be an MP anymore. Um, the the letter for me was very passive aggressive in parts. I thought it was churlish in others. The fact that did you? Yeah. The fa I don't like the fact that because she didn't get the peerage, she's now written this, and it's she's actually actually mentioned her book in it a couple of she times did. as well. So it might be a marketing ploy. Well, it is a marketing ploy for her book. She's furious. She's absolutely furious, and hell hath no fury yeah. than a lady scorned. Tell me about it. I'll but it's not. One. But it won't be a lady because she's not getting her peerage. <laughs> Do you know what? I agree with you. Of mm. course, that's the reasons behind it. Notwithstanding that, I actually agree with everything she mm. said about this current government. I like the, the, the part I really liked about it was when she said they were practically sleepwalking as a as a government in, in Parliament. The zombie government. The zombie so, government. And, and just picking you up on that book thing, she says it became clear to me as I worked that remaining as a backbencher was incompatible with publishing a book which exposes how the democratic process at the heart of our party has been corrupted. Yeah, 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 yeah. But we are living in a time where we have got access to so much media. We've got so much news coming through. Do we, are we really going to be shocked by her book? Are we really the three of us sitting around here on a Sunday morning saying, oh yeah, she's right. She's are you going to read point. it? We knew, but I, I don't know. I, I don't will. know. Oh, I will. Yeah, I, I like I like a good political book that actually she, does. She's a good get writer. To, yeah, she does. If she's I won't be her writing it. I was I mean, going to say, she's written this. Do you think? Yeah. It'll be like a, you know, Boris has written this. I think there was or, or a lot of Boris in that them, letter. Maybe. There was a lot of Boris in that letter. Yeah, you know, and she, you know, she she defends Liz Truss. Mm. She defends Boris as she always has. Mm. Um, but to me, it just smacked off. And I mean, is she the new Geoffrey Archer? Geoffrey Archer, more Jilly Cooper, I would say. Ooh, you're not taking any prisoners well, this morning. No, come on. Why should I? I mean, I agree with Renee. She's right. I, I mean, I pretty much agree with everything she said. I didn't she say said. she was wrong, no, but I no. said the, the, the way she well, went about it and why she well, did it. Well, as we said, hell hath no fury like yeah. a woman scorned. Yeah. I mean, it is absolutely true. Mm, mm, mm. And is that right? I mean, she's a paid... She's a paid... Well, she's not anymore. Well, she's... Well, <laughs> so when did this... she gets a bigger, a bigger settlement now when she goes. <laughs> yeah, but she didn't She didn't turn but, up to Parliament. No, she didn't. And, know, she didn't. and there's a lot of talk about... There's been a lot of criticism And a lot of talk about the constituency office was closed down a long time ago that they haven't been servicing. She refutes in here. She does refute that, yeah. So and there's of a course, lot of name calling, and you know, it's, I don't like that. I mean, it's playground. I mean, politics. obviously, she's one of our own, obviously, because she works here as well. So um, she's she's certainly curved out, carved out a, a, a good mm. media presence, hasn't she? And she also went in the jungle. She did. Yeah, which you know I don't like. I, nope. I think no sitting politician should be I doing reality you. TV shows. Mm. I don't think anyone should be doing the jungle anyway. I think it's barbaric to insects and things. But anyway, another story. Barbaric another story to insects. Melody. They eat insects. They eat live insects. They wouldn't eat Lots a live of dog. Eat insects. They wouldn't eat a live dog. Right. Oh, really? Come on. I think we're on a tangent here. Yeah, but, we are. Yeah, all right, fair enough. Right, so um, anyway, so yes, that carries on, and obviously we'll talk more about Nadine Doris uh, later this morning because it's just so I juicy. I think she raises some really interesting political points for the people of the country. So, so, so well, country. let's ask Claire the question, yeah. which is, do you think this could act as a warning shot to the Conservative Party? Oh, to I say, think it is. I yeah, think the Conservatives sort are this out. dead in the water. I mean, how Can many they times... it? I, Mm, do, I doubt it. Not in not in such a specified time frame. Not with the talent. Uh, did I say that? Well, that's the thing. In isn't it? that they've got to use. They've got nothing. I mean, she brought that majority up where where she was mm. from eight thousand to thirty five or something. I mean, she had a huge oh. majority. She, right? I mean, it's an amazing story as well. She talks about the fact that the family working class, the yep. working class, growing up in Liverpool, that um, they had to dodge the rent collector because yep. they couldn't pay the rent. Yeah. You know, good honour. No, I'm yes. As part, but mm. you know, she was an elected politician, elected to do a job. She's come from the NHS. You know, mm. there's 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 facets of her, but she was given a brief about Channel Four, and that was toe curlingly awful as in terms of an embarrassment when she found out how Channel Four were were, were actually funded mm. at the Select Committee. So I mean, she, she's not the best politician, I would say, but mm. you know, she was there to do a job. She was elected. I would say, however, she's not been attending uh, Parliament since June, and now this has finally came out. I don't know about the time frame in terms of the the the, the plan of the by election because September the fourth has been mentioned. Mm. So I don't oh, know. It's October. If, it's October. I don't know if there was a specific time. Frame. Yeah. that the by-election could not have been triggered because of it. So so the question I have is, how will this go down with the Tory grassroots? They'll love it. I think so. They will. I think they will 
I think she'll get a lot of support from them because I think it is, you know, from all the, the red walls that they managed to get in the last election and indeed now what the, the polls are showing, they're there, I think that they will go, yeah, I think she actually associates herself with a lot of the, the, the grassroots Conservatives that are in the country. So, so I take your point that clearly she's angry and you can see that it's written in every sentence but at the same time I think what people like about this is they understand this language. This is passionate, this is a defence of this country, it's a defence of where we should be going. People like that. I think what they don't like with Rishi Sunak is they don't believe a word of it. Yeah and, they, and she mentions it about three or four times, unelected, yeah, unelected, unelected. unelected. And also, and that's I, think, the key. I think the very valid point that you make in all of this is if you think about this, it's almost a manifesto, isn't it? Mm. Or how yes, to win the next yes. election. But there is not a person that I can think of in that cabinet nope. or in that party who has the charisma, the chutzpah, to get up and deliver what this is saying the people Is there anyone want. that you can think of? Not in the party right now. Well, I, I, I just can't think of anyone at the moment. I'm so disgusted with British politics. I'm politically homeless. I've said mm. it so often. I mean, we really need a good clear I'm, I'm, I'm literally racking I my brain. I think Liz Truss, who doesn't have the charisma, but she at least had the courage to stand up and, and do, do something, something different. different, was probably their best bet. So they ousted her. She was awkward, wasn't she? Yeah. She needed coaching. She's got better, actually. She has got better. Well, she's smiling more. Anyway, let's move on. <laughs> I mean, uh, we've got well, so I'm, much so, to go so One more question, if I may. How is the Labour Party going to view this? Well, you know, it's always puzzled me and it's always concerned me that through all the party politics have gone through, like, how many prime ministers would we have in the space nice of seven. a month? <laughs> Three in yeah, one month, yeah, yeah. right? Um, Keir Starmer et al kept their mouths shut and I always thought why why aren't you you know holding to account you know holding up for you I know think answers they did call for a general oh, election a couple of times they, they were did. very 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 quiet though they were very the machinations why because of it they were, were just letting them hang uh, themselves they were letting them hang themselves mm. they were giving themselves time and that for me is not politics I want a, a, almost like a boxing ring I want passion I mm -hmm. want people to have views I want people to support the democratic right of us who are voters in a democracy to show us what we can get. Well, she says that, though, in terms of uh, Keir Starmer. There is no affection for Keir Starmer out on the doorstep. Well, I think that story? might be... Uh, Keir Starmer, no, but the Labour Party, yes. What a sorry stage of affairs. By though, default. Where, where by, by default. default, we are going to get that's a government... I mean. And that, that's what people that are saying. People are just opting for the worst, the, the next best, less worst option. Well... Mm. That's it. And there's no policy, there's no manifesto that would grab me. My goodness me, I don't think the Labour Party even could identify what a woman was, let alone anything else. I, but I mean this. I don't know what Labour stands for. I yep. literally do not know. Because, again, we'll I talk do. about this. Angela Rayner said... Net, net zero. Net zero, yes, absolutely. Punish people that have done well. Absol well, Rayner says they're not going to impose... Um, absolutely denigrate the two sexes so that our children are even more confused than they were. That's what they stand for, mm. those three things. Right.